Oh, can you please tell me what's your course and how much tuition fees if you are comfortable how much tuition fees you have spent for your particular course okay. and aapka apne bola ki aap nit nit meghalaya se padhe ho wahan pe aapka experience kaisa tha Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. मेरे साथ आज एक सब्सक्राइबर मेरा एक दोस्त है शाइम करके एंड ही हैज़ गिवन इज टाइम फॉर मी टू शूट सम कॉन्टेंट चैनल के लिए एंड हम आज इनका जर्नी जानते हैं कौन सा कोर्स ये पढ़ रहे हैं उनका पार्ट टाइम एक्सपीरियंस कैसा है उन्होंने जी टी कैसे क्लियर किया है सब कुछ ये वीडियो में आपको देखेगा सो फर्स्ट आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक शाइम फॉर गिविंग इज टाइम एंड शाइम आई वुड लाइक यू टू इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ टू माई ऑडियंस uh myself shaim uh basically i am citizen of bangladesh so currently here i am doing my masters in computer science and i have done my bachelor in nit meghalaya from india mm -hmm. so this is my first semester and it's been like two months i have arrived here mm -hmm. so it's like quite uh, exciting journey for me to come here because i have to go on through a lot of things mm -hmm. because this time in uwo there was such kind of difficulties to get clearance from everything so because there was some uh, rule changing issues in australian government so they have been gone through this so so we will slowly get get over the, get to there yeah. but i just want to let uh, like up bangladesh se nit ka apka journey kaisa tha like aapne kaun sa course kiya wahan pe and aapka aapne bola ki aap nit nit meghalaya se padhe ho wahan pe aapka experience kaisa tha like nit mein to bahut log ka dream rehta hai nit iit sab jana to aapka wahan pe experience how was your experience over there so mera jo 12th tha wo bangladesh se tha so after that uh, i have moved to india and i got admission in nit meghalaya i have to go through one exam uh, examination which is quite uh equivalence to je mm. je means je yeah. means so basically as we all of know that je advance for iit and je means for nit so that that journey was more comfortable for me because i think uh sometimes it was challenging because it was a new place like like here yeah. but the one thing is like i got my social life and for me that life was heaven Okay. But uh, if I talk about the educational experience, it was best, as you know, the NIT is NIT, yeah. <laughs> obviously. So the educational experience was good, and the uh, social life was good. So overall, it was good and good journey for me, like from Bangladesh to NIT, like India, exploring India, mm -hmm. having so many friends from different kind of states. So now I can say one thing that like. there is no place in india where i don't have any friend wow. <laughs> so from every part of india i have friends because uh, as you know in nit from yeah. every parts of yeah. india people comes here so yeah it was a nice journey for me yeah actually it's a inspiration for you to become a part of nit and it's a really proud moment for us as indians as well like bangladesh se koi aake pad rahe hain india mein aake to wo bahut badi baat hai hamare liye bhi to second cheez abhi ऑस्ट्रेलिया के कैसे लगा आप जस्ट आए हो मैं मैं भी लाइक कभी दो साल हो गया है तो स्टार्टिंग में मैं भी जब आया था एकदम डिप्रेसिंग कोई दोस्त नहीं मेरा टाइम पे तो कोविड भी था तो मैं घर के अंदर हम लोग ऑनलाइन एटलीस्ट यूनिवर्सिटी आपको जाने हो रहा है मेरे को जाने भी नहीं हो रहा था वो टाइम पे सब हाँ लाइक इट वॉज ऑल ऑफलाइन लाइक ऑनलाइन फॉर अस सो दिस वन मंथ फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर यू ओ डब्ल्यू हाउ इज़ योर एक्सपीरियंस सोफा टू मंथ्स इट वॉज लाइक quite good or quite not good like the balancing things the only thing which i am missing is like how people are so busy in their life so like for that reason i i will say that yeah i am not getting that much of life so life which i was supposed to get yeah. because obviously i have came from different things like i have been in different places and i have made friends otherwise if you talk about the country as a country it's smooth as a country it's like secure and you can live your life if you love to be alone if you love to be spend your time alone then i think it's the best thing that like I, no one is here to judge you you can do whatever you want so from this perspect i will say that till now my journey was good hopefully okay. in future when there will be several friends i think i will enjoy more and if i talk about the education then i will say that the educational uh prospect is totally different from our region and this region because they are in our region everything is based on pen paper everything based on yeah. campus yeah. but here everything is based on like you don't have 
to push much in your education you just have to maintain a balanced life in education just like you have to go through such kind of assignments assignment. and yes. quizzes and in our region there is no such kind of wa- word names quiz because we s- somehow we used to like submit some assignments so the educational journey will be totally different you will not get match with this educational j- journey of uh, australia okay. So can you please tell me what's your course and how much tuition fees if you are comfortable how much tuition fees you have spent for your particular course Okay so I am doing uh, computer science master in computer science and my specialization is software engineering So the current tuition fee of computer science is per semester I guess 13000 Australian 13, dollar okay. Australian dollar after a uh, scholarship I don't know the exact amount without scholarship so I got 30% scholarship okay. so after that deducting I have to pay in 2 years around 52000 so 52000 AUD, AUD okay. which comes around like 13000 per se- per okay. semester okay. and uh, as the things will be different in India and Bangladesh because we have to show different kind of amount yeah, to yeah, the yeah, university yeah. so like if I talk in australian dollar then i have shown around 60000 australian dollar in my funds uh, without tuition fees because okay. uh, when you come you have to pay your tuition fees first okay. semester yeah. so without that i have uh, shown 16000 uh, australian dollar for my uh, one year expense and the rest of the tuition fees okay so have you taken any loans back in bangladesh or no in bangladesh the scenario is different just like uh, in bangladesh you can take such kind of educational loan which is available in india okay yeah. okay so it's quite quite different so everything whatever i have shown it was by my father my okay. father was my sponsor but i think it's benefit for indian people that they can take loan and like uh, those who goes to abroad not only in australia they can get that facilities but in bangladesh there is no such kind of facilities called like educational loan or oh, there is no education loan in bangladesh so if someone doesn't have fund then how will be they able to come to australia like they uh, can't come to australia or uh, is basically depends on like if someone is very intelligent not like me <laughs> bro you're from <laughs> nit what <laughs> so so like if someone is very intelligent so obviously they can come here by by funding from the universities because i have seen so many people so i have some seniors uh she is also uh, i think she has passed her 1.5 years yeah so she got the full funding from australian university so there's the one uh, and if someone is not intelligent like me so if so in such case i think that most of the people manage by like whatever they have the family wealth so s- uh. for some reason they sell that so okay. it's it's one kind of investment you can say okay like coming abroad for me is one kind of invest investment yes, yes. so because Absolutely. at the end you are going to gain of course, uh, yeah. the things so yeah but obviously whenever you come you can't keep that on your mind that i am coming here to like uh, doubling everything obviously you have to come here for education because that's the first priority yeah, that's right the first priority because when you will complete your study then you will like get to earn so that's the thing so and okay so this was your like can you t- just uh, tell me the subjects which all you have for your if you remember some of the subjects because yeah, I, lot of people ask me on instagram like masters of cs masters of cs or teaching nursing but most majority of them are from cs that's why i requested you to shoot a video mm-hmm. and can you please tell me like what all subjects do you have like lot of people don't know so yeah so till now whichever subject i have faced and whichever subject i have uh, gone through in the course curriculum i think is almost similar to my bachelor one because i have done my bachelor in computer science and engineering so uh, in my computer science there are uh, like obviously uh, introduction to the python web development uh, database management networking uh, and based on the uh, major the subject will be different such as in my uh, major there are software engineering so there is a subject called software engineering software testing, testing yeah, yeah so that's kind of things and there are some condition if someone wants to do some project or if someone wants to go for research, research yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. basically depends on the uh, result result, yeah. result so if someone wants to do research then they have to take some courses like i i don't remember fully such like like uh, 
uh, I, I got uh, research, research methodology. Yeah. This kind yeah. of taken that subject. Yeah, so uh, which I don't have any plan to take because obviously I will go for the project as my bachelor. Also, I have done project. I have also gone for the project, but because the research methodology was an easy subject, that's why I took it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the thing. And uh, here, uh, whichever I have noticed in my subject that in every semester you have to take at least minimum four subjects. Yes. yes. Yeah. So within that, you will complete by two years. Yeah. And if there is uh, unexpected circumstance, then you can extend that. But I don't know what's the procedure that, and yeah. because I don't have plan for that, yeah, yeah. so that's kind of things. And yeah. I don't remember properly other subjects' yeah, names. So, that's the so thing. you are a hardcore developer, like you like coding and stuff, HTML, CSS. Uh, I used to, but not now, because I think this kind of thing should be limited till <laughs> bachelor, because when you are in masters, so obviously you will not get that much of chance to explore everything yeah. because masters is basically uh, one kind of specialization in something so in bachelor we have gone through several kind of subjects yes, of yes. computer science yes, yes. So because there is no subject which we don't know everything we have done but in uh, masters you will not get that chance to do like coding and other things like in my subject i haven't seen any coding part only the thing development i got is web development and uh, i got python uh, which will be the normal uh, with the mixture of some kind of data structure and other things but in bachelor we had several uh, separate subject of data structure where we have to put more investment on that but in masters you will not get that much of chance of that okay so i i just i'm just eager to know did you get scholarship in nit as well or you have to pay f entire yeah. fees I mean. yeah in nit also like uh, I got a scholarship, is okay. uh, but that is scholarship was uh, based on government, not like here. Uh -huh, in, yeah. in Australia, we are getting a scholarship from universities, yeah, but yeah. in India, I got a scholarship from the no, government. Okay. So it was almost like 60% uh, was paid by the government, 40% okay. was paid by me, uh, including so everything. You did bachelor's of engineering in computer science yeah, four, four, years. Yeah, four years. Wow. In Meghalaya? In Meghalaya. Wow. How was your experience? You good? Yeah. The place was good. Uh, weather was good and obviously people calls Meghalaya the Scotland of I never been to Meghalaya you, you should have you know I, I've been li I'm an Indian I'm li like I'm 26 now I've never been to Meghalaya <laughs> you, you should have just like mostly the experience of Scotty rides in the rain and the Meghalaya is heaven and yeah I mi I miss the life of Meghalaya because of the environment and the, because of the peoples because with whom I have been there because I have a ton of friends there and we used to like spend life as a life you know when you will come in different country like in the first world country you will be like you know economically you will be strong yeah, yeah, yeah. by life stand it will be strong yeah. but at the end of the day you have to manage everything yeah Here life is easy as uh, as well as life is hard yes. so when something is hard as well as easy then you have to manage by yourself i mean I, uh, I believe that back in India, financially, we were not that stable. Uh, like economically, as you said, it's not that stable. But your mental peace, your social life, everything, everything is, everything is everything all good. Is Here, you will get all all the facilities, top class facilities. Financially, you will, you will be much more stable. But everyone is busy with their own life. Like if you're free today, your friends won't be free today. They might have work. So And we can't blame anyone because at the end of the day, they have to pay the rent, bills, yeah. this, that, everything, right? Yeah, the important thing is like if you want to meet someone, if it's your best friend, you have to take appointment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Bro, to go to Baba yeah. for haircut, I have to take appointment here. Yeah. Like and it's another thing like is that. like time is money. Yeah. That's the thing. And everything is time is money. So you have to invest your time. That's the thing. So otherwise, life is good here. And mostly, it's too good for those people who are like introvert. They are, it's too good. Like You are introvert? Uh, no. Now I'm being introvert <laughs> every day by being alone because I don't get that much of time to meet with the yeah, people yeah. because here university is like for for a fixed time like in India or the in Indian subcontinent yeah. countries university or the colleges are like mostly from 9 to 5 okay all of you will be there but here is like you will take one class and after that you have to go work yeah, after yeah. that you have some other works or these kind of things you will not get a chance to meet with the people especially in these universities like UW so many students and like so big campus so, that's so guys, this video is just so long, so we will continue this video in the next part, okay? 
अगर आपको वीडियो पसंद आया मेक शो दैट यू गाइस लाइक द वीडियो क्योंकि आप लोग लाइक नहीं करते और आप लोग वीडियो देखते हो पर लाइक नहीं करते हो बहुत बुरा लगता है प्लीज लाइक कर देना और अगर आप चैनल में नहीं हो अभी तक सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया प्लीज नीचे का रेड बटन आप सब्सक्राइब भी करो मिलते हैं बहुत जल्द एक और नए वीडियो में अंटिल देन टेक केयर शेयर बाय बाय पीस मिलते हैं बहुत जल्द Thank you.